Welcome back to 31 Days of Halloween, which is a new tutorial every single day. Subscribe to stay up to date. But today we're taking the Anastasia um, Highlight and Contour Kit. This is a cream palette, and it's very, very pigmented and very easy to blend. And I'm taking that top left color, which is the lightest color in the entire palette, and I'm highlighting my face with that. I wanted to go for that highlight shade, but I also wanted to keep it in the brown family because I do want to do a brown werewolf today. So yeah, yeah. So now I'm taking the bottom left color, which is the third darkest, or the lightest of the contour colors, and I'm putting that around my forehead in all of my contour areas, so underneath my cheekbones, around my jaw, all those good things. And then once it's applied, I am then going to take the beauty blender, which is, this is a beauty blender sponge, and I am going to buff those lines out. This is like pretty much like a drag tutorial. It starts off as a drag tutorial. <laughs> now I'm taking the darkest color and I'm deepening up only the outer corners of that contour areas that we just did. So right, right, right at the base of that cheekbone, right in the very, very corner of the hairline, vice versa. Do you feel me? Boom. So now we're going to get this side on this side. So I'm taking this Mayron cream paint and I'm taking this brown shade and I'm using this ti tiny, tiny, tarny, tar -la -la, tiny, tiny, tart liner brush, which is super thin. And I'm just going to start creating these hair like marks. I use this Mayron palette on purpose because it is a cream and it, uh, it, it buffs out and it applies very nicely. So um, you guys can use the creams that come from the Halloween store. I do believe that they will be pigmented enough, but just keep going and do this until you notice that there's something in your hair and then get that out of your hair and then continue with the rest of the tutorial. So I'm doing that all around my hairline as you see here. And now I'm taking this light shade, I'm mixing this pale and this white and I'm stippling that on with my mesh sponge on the highlight areas. That's gonna make sure it's not as flat and it's gonna look more textured. Once we finish the hair like marks, the highlight areas will look very, very flat. So. Um, now I'm taking the white out of the same palette and you see I'm depositing the color onto the face and then once it's all on then I'm swiping in hair like marks you guys definitely can't kill shot this product if you're using this exact one you kind of have to deposit and then swipe deposit swipe you can't really just swipe right away the lines won't be sharp they'll be like goob blobs so I'm using this white to break up some of that brown and I'm, I'm strategically placing it a little bit in areas where there isn't a brown hair like mark do you see what I'm saying and now I'm doing the same thing on the eyebrows. I'm going around the eyebrow, and then I'm going to furrow it down to contour my nose. You see how we, like, we contour, but like demon contours? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, now I'm taking this black, and I know I'm using this black on purpose because I know it's going to come up as a gray. I want an in-between from gray and black. So first I'm going to apply this gray, and then we're going to go in after with a black face paint, which is a nice, rich, deep black. So I'm putting in this gray now. You just call, I'm just going to call it a gray. We're putting in this gray to break up the highlights and the brown, and it's really... The more colors you get into this look, the more dimension it'll have, and the more that it will pull off looking like real hair. If you feel me, if you catch my drip. I say if you feel me all the time. Just feel me. Boom. So now I'm taking this uh, water activated face paint. This is by Mayron Makeup, and I am applying the black now. I'm fading this into my beard because I know I'm going to cover up my beard with a black mascara. So we're just going to apply it in the same way and just get it all nice and textured. You want to strategically place it slightly so you don't cover all of the brown and the white hair marks. You want to cover a good chunk of it but you don't want to cover it all or else all those steps are pointless oh periscope i'm doing a little dance i'm getting right back into it so now i'm just gonna continue with the same thing black all the way down the eyebrows and down the nose and since i have black hair it blends in with my natural eyebrows if you have lighter hair switch the colors up so the darkest color is your natural hair if that makes sense but now I'm taking a black mascara, this one's by Benefit, the Thayer Real Mascara, and I'm putting that all over my beard and my hairline and my eyebrows to fade all that out. If you don't have a beard, then just continue with the hair like strokes other than your face. But now I'm taking the new, brand new Anastasia self-made palette, and I'm taking this color Hot Chocolate. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Hot Chocolate. And I'm going to do a cut crease with the brush that comes inside the kit. I don't know if it's released yet, but I will have it linked down below if it is. But we're applying this in a cut crease shape and then flipping it on the other side and blending that out. And then we're going to do the exact same thing to the under eye, applying it and then blending it out. While with the black eyeshadow, we're going to deepen it up. So right at the base of that brown, I'm going to apply the black. I'm still using the brush that came in the, in the palette. And we're going to get that nice, gorgeous cut crease. You see that sassiness? And then I'm also going to apply it to the under eye now, but I'm using an angled brush for more precision. And then you're going to see here in the inner corner, I'm going to curve it on inward like a little Egyptian slash cat slash dog. You know what I'm saying? To get that like feline sharp i mean even though i'm saying feline but it's a wolf but like get that animalistic feel to your face and then blend that out uh with some more hot chocolate now i'm going with a little bit of black to really contour it around my eyeball and boom 
So I'm taking this uh, eyeliner by NYX Cosmetics, and it's a dark brown, and I'm using that to put on my little nose. I thought black might be a little harsh. All the techniques can stay the same, but definitely change up the color palette if you're doing this on yourself, depending on your skin tone, depending on your hair color, and all that good stuff. But I applied that to my lips with a little bit of white now in the middle. I was going for a light brown, but it didn't turn light brown. But um, it worked anyway, so I'm just putting that to my lips and then pursing my lips together and applying more hot chocolate by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then when I open my mouth, it's going to look cracked if you do it in that kissy face. And then I needed the top lip, I think, to be a little bit darker, so I'm applying eyeshadow on black eyeshadow on top of that. So when I open my mouth, again, it'll look all creasy grease. Perfect. And now I'm just doing the same thing that I always do in my special effects tutorials, putting a little bit of black eyeshadow in the ear. And I'm using a stippling brush. This is a great way to do the same technique on the face, on the body, faster. So I'm doing this using the same color scheme, and I'm just applying it all over my face, wherever you're going to be expo exposed, if this is going to be your Halloween costume and all that stuff. But that concludes my tutorial, my friend. It's actually not as difficult as it seemed, and I really hope you guys learned something new today and enjoyed this look. Definitely subscribe and follow me on social media. I'm posting every single night, and we're, oh, what, we're 19 days in? Yep, mm-hmm. Okay, love you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Bye, friends.